They have managers. What comes top ten? You guys have interviews? Yes, my name is Amira. I have a four o'clock appointment. Oh, not a minute too soon. It's three forty-five. If you come on in, take a look around, got some coffee and donuts in back. Sad face for me. Just like that. Hold that. Yes. Pouch your lips out a little bit. Like, yes. Just like that. That is awesome. Right. You're a natural. Okay. Just a few more. Come on. A few more. All right. Great. Great. Bet you're getting a little tired. Maybe we should take a break. I'm sure you're hungry. Yeah, I am a little tired. I thought the photo shoot was the last part of the interview. Well, it is, but I thought you could hang out and meet some of the other girls. We're going to order a pizza. What other girls? Well, the other girls are in the back. We'd like to hang out and meet everybody. Well, I'm sorry, but I promised my mom that I'd be home before dark. It's already dark. I know. That's what I mean. I should probably get going. Well, you can't leave yet because we're not done. I'm sorry. I have to listen, go. Listen. What are you doing? Shut up! Just shut up, okay? Okay, first, you're right. There's nobody else here but us. The walls are soundproof. You can scream your head off and no one's gonna hear you. And second, I've spent a lot of time and money with you today. These lights, the equipment, the props, all of this costs money. A lot of money. So I hope you don't think you just gonna waltz in here and get a free photo shoot and take off. Cause nothing in this world's free, baby. I call the shots. Mr. McDaniel, did you need anything else? Sir? Coffee, black, six sugars. Okay. Wash your hands. Excuse me? I need you to wash your hands before you make my coffee. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Let me get that. What happened to Amy? She quit. You always run off 
the good ones. Amy made the best chocolate chip muffins. Mm. Melt in your mouth. Brynn, have you met Janice? Josie. I'm sorry, Josie. She's the new office temp started last week. I don't believe I have. I'm sorry. Hi. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Josie, do you bake? I don't. Do you type up the Johnson claim? Just finished. Um, his death certificate arrived by carrier this morning. I was about to make copies, but I thought I'd bring you coffee in first. Okay, then. Okay. Paperwork is null and void. Macon Medical didn't process the official background check. The nurse didn't even have time to Brent, that. His skull was crushed in a car accident. What in the hell has that got to do with high blood pressure? This guy walks into our office on a Friday night, buys life insurance for the first time in his lousy life, gets hit by a car on Saturday morning, jackpots. $500,000 death claim we pay out for one day. One day? He's still covered. Is he? Let's call corporate. Maybe there's a way around it. Pay the claim, Brent. Do something right for once. <laughs> what the hell was that? Whiskey burning. Smoke filled broom, tension fills the air. As she walks across the bar, high heel shoes and big hair. One more pickup, one more date, just another bar fly. One more night, one more drink, just another bar fly. What's up? Money. I got that. I'm sure you do. Got some new dolls? Two. One local, one just came in from Utah. Both 16, cute, and dumb. Utah, a mountain girl. I like that. Give me a state fruit of cherry. Yo, brain, you sick. What? All right, I gotta go. I'll call you if they bite. I have Andrew send you some pictures. Where's the pickup? Usual spot, under the bridge. I'll be there. Make sure your money's right this time. Last time you was a little short. That was an oversight. Won't happen again. Good. Another long day at the meat market, but nothing I can't handle. That's my girl. I was better off as a dancer. At least they had to pay to look at me like that. What'd you just say? Nothing. You want to go back to dancing again? Is that what you're thinking? Baby, calm down. You almost got raped by some random psycho stalker. I can't believe you actually think about going back to that. Okay, it wasn't like he was some random psycho. I knew him. He was your mom's neighbor? Josie! I let my guard down. It's not like that happens all the time. So, Josie, you know, I was having a good day. You, you're really ticking me off! I, I, need to, I need to calm down. Bye. Four. Three. Two. One.
Baby, calm down. I'm not going to dance. I thought you wanted to go back to school. I do. I am. Really? I am. picture looks like me. Is that you? No, it's my younger sister Donna. Skinny wench. And you're gonna put her picture on your site to meet men? Yeah. You think it'll work? What happens when you meet them and you look different? Girl, trust. After one night of driving around all these curves, you'll forget all about that picture. <laughs> Legal Casual Life, please hold. LCL, please hold. LCL, may I help you? Yes, he is. Hang on, I'll transfer you. Sorry for the wait. May I help you? Oh, I thought I transferred this call. Well, he must not be in his office. Why don't you leave a message on his voicemail? Okay, yes, I understand this is urgent. Let me see if I can find him. And your name is? Okay, I'll leave this message on his desk. Mm-hmm. Lakewood Casual in Life, desk of Mr. McDaniel, how may I help you? Excuse me? I'm sorry, I'm not... What are you doing? It rang, and I answered it. That's what answering machines are for. And get away from my desk. I left you a message on your desk. Andrew, is that who called? Well, the call came in, in the front and... I asked you a simple question. Is Andrew the person you were just talking to on the phone? I don't know. They didn't say the second time. What did he say? Well, he asked for you. He said something about 2 o'clock, need more money for a shipment. In the future? Okay. Hey, sweetie. Hey. <laughs> Come here. I want you to see something. Look, I know it's not finished yet, but I'm calling this one Summer in New York. What do you think? It's pretty. What? Honestly, it look a little like your winter New Jersey. Mine's the snow, and I like it. <laughs> Very funny. Anyways, how was work? Something strange happened. What else is new? No, I, I think I heard something I wasn't supposed to hear. Like what? I answered the phone for Miss McDaniel, the weird creepy guy, my supervisor. Oh, okay. Someone was on the phone. They were really upset. They were yelling. And they said, tell Miss McDaniel that he better wire the money by 2 o'clock or his shipment's going back. Someone said this to you? Yeah, but they thought it was someone else. Some girl named Amy that used to work there. How do you know? <laughs> because they called me Amy. Hmm. But before I could tell them that I wasn't, they look, 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 Josie, you don't know what this guy to be into. I want you to quit your job. What are you talking about? I want you to quit tomorrow. I want you to quit. Stormy, I have to stay for at least two more weeks or I won't have rent. I promise. In two weeks, I'll quit. I'll find something else. But for now, 
I'm going to mind my own business, type my notes, and keep my mouth shut till payback. All right. <laughs> I see you, Julian. Where do you think you're going? A party. Says who? Says Ma. And where's this party? Stacy's house. It's her birthday party. Stacy. Isn't she like 19? Yeah, so what? A lot of kids my age were invited. So what's a 19-year-old doing hanging out with a 16-year-old? Because it's just a party, not a club. So her parents are going to be there too? Yes, Detective Julian. Her grandmother too. How are you getting there? Stacy. What's the address? Everything is on there. Address, phone number. I forgot the blood type. Funny. Yeah, so can I go now? She's probably downstairs waiting. Kendra, keep your phone on you. Make sure you text me when you get there and when you're about to leave, which should be before 12. Ma's working a double tonight, so she left me in charge. Yeah, whatever. Kendra, I'm not playing. If I don't hear from you, you know me. I'll crash that party. Got a type to be happy when you squash your beef. I leave scars just so you can remember. I pull out squeeze and niggas are fall like September. Where you going? To the party. It's not here. This is my grandmother's house. Girl, picture her letting me have a party here. I'm just going in to go change my shoes because these pills are killing my feet. So where's the party? On the south side of my friend's house. You cool with that? Yeah, I guess that's fine. Right, I'll be right back. Till I get a shot like I was bad. Real talk. I'm a New York nigga. I think bigger. You a G-Shock. I'm a Rolly. Diamond Woo! figure. I'm a money getter, Ox is a money getter. Soon as I get a deal, I'm headed straight to the dealer. Nah, I'm going into real estate. Moves to make, sick of losing, can't make no more mistakes. Mommy need a new crib, daddy need a new whip. Sick of being but this niggas ain't a bell shit. All they do is gossip. Hi, I'm Stacy's friend, Kendra. Did you see where she went? Who? Stacy, I can't with Stacy. Mm -hmm. Stacy, I think she left. With who? I don't know, whoever picked her, who you leaving with? What are you talking about? Wow, you don't even know why you here, do you? What do you mean? Look, hon, you got baited, that's messed up. But you might as well make the best of it, they're not gonna let you leave. What are you talking about? I was invited to Stacy's birthday party. <laughs> Girl, this ain't no damn birthday party, this is a skip party. I see you finished drinking that drink, you better let it get your mind right. Just stay away from him, and you'll be all right. Hello, ma'am. I'm sorry to wake you. Uh, this is my little sister, Kendra. She came to a party here earlier tonight, and she never came home. Baby ain't had no party here since 1977, when my husband retired from the military. I think you got the wrong house. This is 696 Rockwood Circle, isn't it? Right. That's my address, and I would know if there was any type of party going on here. Like I said, ain't been a party here in a long while. Well, do you know Stacy Roberts? Yes, that's my grandbaby. She lives here with me. Well, you see, she came here with Stacy. 
Stacy picked her up from the house and brought her here for the birthday party. Stacy had her birthday over the summer, and we don't celebrate birthday parties. Ain't no need to celebrate being born when your mama did all this work. I'm sorry I couldn't be any help to you, but I'll let you know if I see the little girl. Well, is your granddaughter home? Can I talk with her? Ain't nobody home but me, and she don't visit all that much. I thought you said she lived here. I never said that. I thought you just said she lived here with you. You must have misunderstood me. She will always have a home here with me, but she don't live here. She live with her daddy cross town. Or is there any way that you could call her to see if she... I don't have a phone right now, but like I said, when she comes around, I will be sure and knock her about little Kevin and see if she done seen her. Kendra. Her name is Kendra. I'm sorry. It's, it's getting late. And I gotta go now. Brett! I'm calling you, Brett. <laughs> uh, you were waiting for me. Okay, so what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Um, I was just finishing up some work from earlier. I, I, didn't, uh, I didn't know that you were still here. Dating venue. And what was that? Realmen.com? No, sir. My mom is sick and she lives in Texas, so I was just checking my emails to see how she was doing. I, I, I don't have internet at home um, right now. Why didn't you call her? Anything? Anything? Yolanda and, and and no I I didn't even know that anyone was here. I, usually I, I just come and you've done this before. And what exactly did you hear? I didn't hear anything. Liar. I swear. Liar. It sounds like you are always trying to get on. I don't know what you're talking about. Mr. McDaniel, I, I have to go now. I, I, I'm sorry about all of this, but, but I promise you, this will never happen again. I'll be right back. Wait, wait, wait. Are you sure it's okay to go in there? I have to. I left my purse in there. It's probably in my desk. But don't they have cameras? Babe, I got a bad feeling about this. I don't want you to go in. If my purse is in there, I have every right to go in and get it. If they catch it on camera, I really don't care. But what if somebody sees you? At 9.30 on a Friday night? I don't think so. Joe, let me just, you know, how about... Chill out. I'll be right back.
slid under the seat. Are you serious? No. I snuck in without you seeing me and got it for you. Yes, I'm serious, babe. It slid under there while we were driving. I could have sworn it was still on my desk. Well, you were wrong. Anyway, if we hurry up, we can catch the 10 o'clock show. Come on. <laughs> You okay? Hey, yeah, I'm fine, buddy. I'm just trying to get something out of my trunk. You don't have a flat, do you? No, I ain't no flat here. I'm fine, thank I'm, you. Them old kids over there in that trailer park blew out two of my tires with that beaver trap they said over there. Really? Yeah. No, I ain't got no flat here. I'm good. You thank all right? you. Thank you for stopping. All right. Hello? Oh dear, that's not good. Y yes? I will, I'll tell him. Thank you. Who was on the phone? That was, uh, honey, I thought you were asleep. That was Happy Hill. Your mom's not doing too well. They say you should go down and see her. I'll see her later. I need to take a shower and get to work. But honey, it's Saturday. I know. I need to finish up a few things in the office. Well, dear, I hate to be a big pain in the you-know-what, but as Father Thomas says, you should never put off a good deed today and assume that you have tomorrow. Helen. It's just not promised to you. Please. Uh, Helen, shut up! Good heavens. Come in. Yeah, that's a large supreme steak and cheese. Lots of green and red peppers. No onions. How long? Great. Thank you. What's up? We got another missing girl, a teenager, also from Richmond. Her mom and her brother said she went to a birthday party Friday night and didn't return. And they're just reporting her missing? Yeah, and her mom also said she has a tendency to take off with friends for days at a time without calling. But this time, her friends haven't heard anything either, and she didn't take any clothes. I'll tell you what, get Davenport and Mitchell on this now. Hey, hey, Duncan. Yes, sir. Look out for my sandwich. Last time they sent it up to homicide, and those jokers ate it. Gotcha. Thank you. Yo, all that crying ain't gonna make it. This is a business. Let me tell y'all what this business is about. Number one, I run this. I'll tell you what to do, and you do it simple. I have no patience for no second guessing, hesitation, or resistance. Please, don't try me. One girl did, and she's not here to talk about it. Shut the hell up! You'll speak when I tell you to speak. Y'all here for one reason. Either you owe something or you want something. Now your ride here could be as easy or as hard as you make it. Starting tonight. You be going on some dates with a few friends of mine. You do whatever they tell you to do. I want to be rude. Ah! All right, chickens, get up and get dressed. It's time to go.
You girls do good tonight. We'll go shopping tomorrow. Buy you some new stuff. I'll be right back. Good? Yeah, for now. Drop offs at the Deacon Motel. I got clients in room 112 through 116. You trying to embarrass me out here? Guess what? You just bought yourself an ass whooping. I'll be right back. Y'all can chill. I don't think I'm going out till tomorrow. Let's go. No, Pam's out there. She'll kill us. I know she's out there. She left. She's not here. This is our only chance. No, I haven't. Have you guys seen Yolanda? I heard she got fired. I think she was caught stealing supplies or something like that. That is not what happened. Brent told me personally that she's in Texas taking care of her ailing mother. Oh. I think I think she had a stroke or, or something. Well, she was here Friday. She didn't mention it. I know, but it looks like you're going to have a lot of work to do. Let me know if you need some help. Jessica? It's Josie. Right, right. McDaniel said you gave your uh, two weeks notice. Yeah, I got another job. This is my last week. Oh, so where are you going? Um, my boyfriend, I mean, my fiance, he owns an art gallery. I'll be working with him. That's nice. So uh, he can keep an eye on you now, huh? Excuse me? You know what? You just. It seems like I know you. you. You look so familiar. I've never met you before this job, Mr. Hopper. And I'm really busy, so if you can just... Are you sure? Positive. I've got it. I remember now. Kitty Club, 24th and James. You were the one that did that split, right? In the middle of... I think you've got me confused with someone else. Well, that was you, all right. And your mama? Everything that I know. <laughs> Feisty. I like it.
Hello, dear. Jimmy called today, and uh, he needs some money. Jimmy needs a job. Honey, you know he can't work and go to school full time. Why not? I did. I paid my own way. I never asked anybody for anything. But uh, is this cake out? Is it? Well, yeah, but it's gourmet. What do you do all day? Hey girl, you told me to call if I needed anything, so I'm calling. I think I found Mr. White. I wanted to stop by and check my emails. Call me back when you get home. Hey, 47 p.m. Friday. Hey, Josie, never mind. I gotta go downtown anyway. I might sneak in the office one more time and check my emails. I'll call and let you know how it goes. Baby. Hey. Where you been? I called your office. They said you left early. I called your cell. You ain't been answering. What's going on? Nothing. I just... I had to get out of there. What happened? I just don't want to be there anymore. The Joes quit. Forget the two-week notice and just quit. We'll figure out. Even if I have to get a part-time until you find something else, don't worry about it. I've got you. In local news, Yolanda Williams, a 37-year-old office temp from Richmond, Virginia, was reported missing today. Oh God, Apparently, her sister Donna was the last to see her leaving her home on Friday night and hasn't heard from her since. I know my sister. She is not just taking personal time like the police keep trying to say. I talk to her every day. We are very close. I know. I can feel something is wrong. Something is wrong. She was on her way to the office when she disappeared. She was trying to reach me. Afternoon, ma'am. My name is Detective Davenport, and this is my partner, Detective Mitchell. We were wondering if we can ask you a few questions about a young lady by the name of Kendra Sharif. Who's that? She's a teenage girl, ma'am, missing from this area. And she was last seen on her way to your residence. I believe she was attending a birthday party of your granddaughter, Stacy. I don't know anything about that. Well, ma'am, you do have a granddaughter by the name of Stacy that lives here with me. Is that correct? From time to time, I suppose. But I didn't have no party here, and I ain't seen no little girl in my house. Right, so when was the last time you saw your granddaughter, Stacy? She came by sometime. She came by sometime last month and helped me around the house. Now, Ms. Roberts, Stacy just enrolled right here at the local community college. So it's safe to assume that she spends a good portion of her time right here with you. Am I right? I reckon, yeah. I think I'm right. What about her mother, Tanisha Roberts? Who? You know, your daughter, Tanisha Roberts, also known as Tan. From my understanding, she did about three years in prison for drug traffic. Am I right, Detective? That's correct. As a matter of fact, she's been out now for about a couple of months. Is it possible we could speak with her? I haven't seen her either. 
I have to go now. Now, Ms. Roberts, if we could just ask I'm you a few sorry, more questions. I'm sorry, I'm not feeling very well. Ma'am, it won't take you too I'm long. I'm sorry, I'm not feeling. We just feeling. need to ask you. Again. There, the old lady is definitely covering up something. Yeah, tell me about it. Let's get out of here. Tan, you better get it together. Some policeman's been by. I told you little boy came by the other day looking for her. You better come and get this little girl because she's about to cause some problems. Okay, let him out. Sarge, I just got a call about that missing woman. Her co-worker claimed that she was on her way to a job, some insurance company, when she disappeared. Lakewood casualty or something? And? And she thinking maybe something happened to her while she was there. I'll tell you what, go to her office, see if you can get some leads, and get back with me. Gotcha. All right, boo, you up? Is this the rest of For the night. Get out of my truck and get on the track. See that black Cadillac? It's big money right there. You missed your quota last night. It's 1500 You brought home 12 You owe me three. Yeah, hurry up. Don't make them wait. Nothing. Josie, what's wrong? I don't know how we could just sit here and eat and talk and go about a day like everything is fine and Yolanda is still missing. Baby, we've been down to the police station like ten times. They're about ready to lock us up. The police are on it. They know what they're doing. They're not doing anything, Stormy. 
if this was some white girl from the suburbs, there'd be police dogs, a search team, dabbing team, news flashes, reward posters. A black girl disappears and it's like, whatever. Joey, the whole police force is practically black. Yeah, and that makes it worse. Well, what do you want to do? I want to go back to the office. What? I think something happened to her while she was there. No, no, absolutely not. Why not? We might see something, something important. No. It could help us find her. No. I still have my badge. I can't believe I let you talk me into this. Stormy, please, just come on. She used to sit right here. If Yolanda came in at night, she would sit at her desk. An earring. Wow. You just solved the case. Look, let's get out of here. I'm serious. She could have been struggling with someone. No one of her earrings falls off. Just look around a little bit more. Look really good at the carpet. See if you see anything suspicious like drops of blood. Baby, there's no crime scene here. No body, no blood. There's nothing. Can we get out of here? Baby, can we get out of here? Come on. That's it. Thank Let's go. Thank you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Yeah, no, no, no. We were just leaving. We were just leaving. Just leaving. I work here. I was just getting my stuff. Yeah, she works here. We're just leaving. We're so sorry. So sorry. <laughs> sorry. So, you feeling anything? What do you mean? You know, your senses. Because <laughs> you know, usually around this time, you had a whole case solved by now. You know what, Detective? Sounds like to me you're a little jealous. What? But don't be. You know why? I get my intuition from my grandma. It's a gift. I can just sense negative energy. That's all. Yeah, okay. So can I. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Not just sense it. I can feel it. Smell it. I can almost predict it. <laughs> you know what? That's about the biggest load of bullets I ever heard. What? Look here. You ain't no more clairvoyant than I am. <laughs> oh, yeah? What about the Rosales case? What about the Rosales case? I knew he killed his wife. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I mean, this guy had everyone believing he was such a model citizen, but I knew the moment I met him. You know why? What? It was the handshake. And what about the handshake? When I first shook his hand, yeah. just a few minutes later, my left ear started to ring. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm serious. <laughs> Look here, Detective Mitchell. You know what I call that? What is that? I call that luck. Luck? Pure luck. Come on, man. Let's get out of here so we can go to work. Talk about you can smell it. I've been telling you. I've been telling you. I've been telling you. What is it? Mr. McDaniel? I'm busy. Come back later. The very chief police officer is here to see you. You want me to tell him you're busy? <sighs> no, send him in. Mr. McDaniel. Detective Mitchell. This is the driving port. I'd like to ask you a few questions. You feel? Please have a seat. How can I help you, gentlemen? Well, I know you're a busy man, so I won't take up too much of your time. I know you heard about the disappearance of Yolanda Williams, a secretary that used to work here. Yes, she worked here a couple of months. So you are aware that she was reported as having been right here in this office 
the night she disappeared. Yes, she was here. I was working late, and I caught her on the computer cyber dating with someone. Actually, it's against company policy to be in here after hours on the computer for personal reasons. So you saw her? I mean, you spoke to her. Yes, I saw her. I reamed her out. She knows better. That's why we have viruses on these computers, people breaking rules. So what happened when you uh, reamed her out? She said, I'm sorry, it won't happen again, and then she left. Did she say anything else? Like maybe where she was going or was she going to meet someone else? Anything like that? No, she left in such a hurry. I, I assumed she was going to go meet whoever she was talking to. Cyber dating, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, Ms. McDaniel, we're going to be needing that information from your computer, if you don't mind. Sure. I'll get uh, Rachel to get that for you. Hmm? Okay. So, Cleo, what are your senses telling you now? Nothing. I couldn't get anything. What? So you think he's clean? No, I'm not saying that. My ear didn't ring. It's not that that's a bad thing. It almost feel like his soul was absent. Like he was dead. Dead? Dead. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny, Dad? What's funny? I'm serious, Dad. Wait, 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 wait. You mean to tell me that just because you're not feeling anything, now the man can't even have a soul? No, I'm not saying that. It's just, it was weird. Look, 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 Mitchell. You, gentlemen, Rachel has everything you need up front. Okay, well, um, well, um, that about wraps things up. Um, appreciate you talking with us, Mr. McDaniel. Um, we'll give you a call if we have any more questions. Oh. Can we speak to Mr. Brent Hopper, please? He's not in today, but if you feel the need to come back, please do. Thank you. I'm going to get back to work now. Thank you, sir. No problem. And uh, we'll keep in touch. So the boys paid you a visit, huh? Yeah, nothing big. Tell me, what did happen to that girl from the office? She quit. No, not her. Not the cute one. The other one. The one that just disappeared. I don't know, Brent. I don't really give a damn. Well, whatever happened to her, it's bringing a lot of heat on us. I don't feel any heat. There's two detectives. They're asking questions. That's their job. By the way, not too sure about that motel drop last week. What are you talking about? One of the guys, I delivered his doll, and the way he looked at me, it was like he was waiting, waiting for something to happen. Well, you made the drop anyway. Yeah, what was I supposed to do? Clean it and give it back to me. What? I don't have time to clean it. Come on, the money's good. Clean it. I want all 20s. You've got till Friday, Brent. What the? Bastard. What did you say? I said I uh, wish I could get it to you faster, like tomorrow, but Friday's good. I thought that's what you said. Now what? Helen, I don't have the time for guess that emotion. What is it? It's your mom. She died. <laughs> she looks so peaceful. Passed away in her sleep. Oh, Miss Ruth, we're going to miss you. She left you a note. 
She wrote it last Sunday. Well, I helped her write it. She must have known her time was near. Here you go. Mr. McDaniel, she wanted you to have this. She was a good woman, your mom. Are you okay, Mr. McDaniel? Yeah, it's just hot in here. I understand. It's about time you started letting down some of those walls. It's okay. Sure, she's dead. Excuse me? Never mind. Mr. McDaniel. Here, you must have dropped this. Helen, I'm in the garage. I'll be up in a minute. Helen, my mother died. That's what people do. They die. Now please, just go to bed. Turn it over. Yeah, this is McDaniel. That letter you gave me, was that the entire letter? All it said was turn it over. What the hell does that mean? There he is right there. Let's go meet the boyfriend. Let's do it. I'm Detective Davenport. I'm Detective Mitchell. Yes, so? Seems like you're in a bit of a hurry here, sir. Yeah, I'm going to work. Yeah, well, uh, we're going to need to talk to you inside for a minute. You got a minute? All right, I, I guess. So, Mr. Malloy. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, sir. Exactly what is your full name, sir? Aaron, Aaron Malloy. Well, Mr. Aaron Malloy, do you know of a woman by the name of Yolanda Williams? Of course he does. That is your girlfriend. Isn't that right, Aaron? She wasn't my girlfriend. Why are you talking in past tense, Aaron? As if maybe she's not here anymore? Because I don't know where she is. So when was the last time you spoke to her? It was Friday night, September 7th, 9.30 p.m. Then she disappeared. I saw the news. I knew I'd be a suspect at some point. Hmm. 
And exactly where were you on that Friday night at uh, 9.30? I was at Coffee Central, on my laptop, talking to Yolanda. She was supposed to meet me there. But suddenly, she just stopped writing. Like she got interrupted. And exactly where was she emailing you from, Mr. Malloy? I don't know. I didn't get a chance to ask her. So, how long have you two been talking? That night would have been the first night. We exchanged pictures. I saw her real picture. What, you, what do you mean you saw her real picture? Sometimes she'd post pictures of her sister. I guess she probably thought she was more attractive. But I got to see who she really was. She was sweet and funny too. Hmm. Well, uh, weren't you worried about her? I mean, all of a sudden, she stopped talking. Then you see on the news that she's missing. Why didn't you come forward? I don't know. You know, Detective, I know. You see, old Aaron here has his own story. Isn't that right, Aaron? You raped that girl when you was, what, 16, 17? Because you was a first-time offender, you got the charges dropped for sexual battery. How many years you do for that? All right, huh? One, two years juvie? That sounds about right, doesn't it, Detective? That's right. Doesn't it? I'm so sick of this. I'm through talking. Next time you gotta get your facts straight. I didn't rape anybody. Damn it! Look, I was 17. She was 16. She was my girlfriend. But I know her mom hated me. She caught us fooling around in the basement. But she got so scared, she said I forced her. But that's not how it was, you see. At the appeal hearing, she recanted her story. And that's when we found out for sure. I just did 10 months, not two years. Okay, we'll look into that. Yeah, I'm late for work. I gotta go. Aaron, look, we appreciate your help. Thank you. Hey, baby, what took you so long? Guess who I saw? Uh, Yolanda? That's not funny. <laughs> I wasn't trying to be funny, but you came in so excited, I kind of thought you saw her. Don't you think about Sweetie Yolanda be freaking out? You are freaking out. I saw Brent downtown talking to some black woman. Great! Brent has black friends! What's the big deal? Oh, she was a thug. He handed her something. Probably money. It looked like a drug deal. Joes, Joes, stop. Mind your business. Look, before something happens. I didn't do anything. I just happened to see. Look, look, I don't want to hear anything else about Brent, that crazy company, or you following people. It's over. Let it go. This is my sister Kendra. She went to a party in this neighborhood a couple weeks ago. I was just wondering if any of you guys seen her. Nah, I never saw her before. What about y'all?
like, yo, she kind of do look like, nah. What? Did you see her? Yo, no disrespect, kid, but she kind of like this little trick I seen rookie the track. Just call my little sister a trick? I didn't call your sister anything. I said she looks like the picture. It's probably not even her. But if I was you, that's where I would start. Yeah, all right. I got two left. I'm moving my stable to the city. It's getting hot around here. Wait, hold on. I know that Winston just opened that door. No, Frank Miller, he owns a paper mill. Yeah. He wants two boys. Tan has one, she's getting the other tomorrow. I know it sounds twisted, but his fantasy life is his business. Money is money, and this guy has deep pockets. How old is he asking for? 10, 11. How old was the girl you dropped Sunday? Does it matter? It matters. How old did you say she had to be? Brent, don't play games with me. I told you 18. At least 18. Yeah, well, we broke that rule a long time ago. You broke that rule. And you cashed in on it. We're done. Oh, you have morals now? Some spiritual conscience? Well, whatever happened to the big black woman you caught snooping around the office? What big black woman? Come on, McDaniel. You think I'm stupid? I know what you're capable of. And now that I think about it, whatever happened to Amy? Brent, I'm gonna go home now and eat some of my wife's lousy cooking. Have a glass of brandy, watch the evening news. If you ever mention that woman again or any other woman in relation to me, 
I'll show you what I'm really capable of. I need some time to think. Ryan, maybe what your mom said is true. I think there's something, something in you that's not quite right. Everyone has her own demons to fight. And God only knows what dark suggestions your soul makes to you. But you, you have to pray. I found the pictures, all those girls, those innocent girls. What pictures, what girls? These pictures. I'm not going to let you lie to me anymore. I knew you were doing something, something evil. I just didn't know what. Calm down. Let's talk about it. I'm going to stay with my sister for a couple of days. Oh, Helen, come on. Do you really think you can do whatever you want and not be held accountable for it? Okay. You want to know? I, no. I killed a girl. Right in my office. No. I strangled her. You want more? No, just... Uh, you remember Amy, my old secretary? She was blackmailing no. me for over three years. Stop it! I got rid of her, too. No. There. I'm purged! You feel better? Uh, Helen, where are you going? Calling the cops! Do you want to be alone for the rest of your life? joking. What? You were joking? I made it all up. Oh, that's <laughs> horrible. Why would you make up something like that? Well, if you thought I'd done something really terrible, like murder, and then you realize I hadn't, these silly pictures are not going to be that bad, right? Don't you ever do that again. I'm sorry. And you were right about the pictures. I looked at them. I shouldn't have. Pornography is a sin. I promise. Starting today. I'm going to... I am going to turn it over. Clean slate.
Ayúdame, ayúdame, ayúdame. Damn it! Help me! Calm down, Help ma'am. Me. Calm down. What's going on? What's going on? Someone's chasing me. Okay, what's his name? Brent Hoffman. Okay, the officer will assist you. Help me, please. Someone's chasing me. Who's chasing you? Brent Hopper. Why is he chasing you? He has a little girl in his house in the shed. Relax. Try relax. We gotta get to there. We where gotta he, help her. Where does he stay at? I don't know. Follow me, please. Okay. Sweetie, where are you at, cutie? You playing hide and seek? Yeah, I got some ice cream. It's okay now, you're safe. I'm gonna let you off at the hospital up the street, okay? I just want you to go inside and tell the people to help you. Just go inside and say, help me. Okay? Just say, help me. Evening, officer. Have your license and registration, please. Sir, one second. Certainly. Can I get you to step out the vehicle, sir? What's the problem? Step out the vehicle, please. Step out slowly. Turn around. Step out to your right. Thank you, sweetie. What a nice girl. Can I help you? I just dropped my wallet. She, she picked right. it up for me. You need to be more careful with him. No problem. Next in line, please. Mr. McCormick, I see you're going to Mexico. Yeah, I think it's time for a vacation. Enjoy your flight. Thank you, ma'am. How are you tonight, Mr. McCormick? It's good to see you. Good. Can I take your bag for you, please? It should be a beautiful flight to Mexico tonight. The weather's perfect. The plane is right over here. Authorities infiltrated a local sex trafficking ring. 
Police arrested 42-year-old Tanisha Roberts, her 69-year-old mother, Eleanor Roberts, and her 19-year-old daughter, Stacy Roberts. Brian McDaniel, a 54-year-old insurance salesman with Lakewood Casualty in Life, was arrested in connection to this ring. He was captured during a routine traffic stop where he was caught transporting a minor who authorities suspect was one of the victims of this ring. He is also a suspect in the murder of an Amy Simpson of earlier this month and of the disappearance of a Yolanda Williams. Both of these women were employees of Lakewood Casualty and Life. Brent Hopper, another employee of this firm, is also wanted in connection to sex crimes involving children. Police are unable to locate his whereabouts, however, 96 child pornography videos were recovered here from his home. Missing Hotline, this is Josie. How can I help you? This is she. No. No, I'm not interested. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. My name is Josie. Can I hand you a few flyers? This is the National Printout of Missing and Exploited Children. These two girls at the bottom, they're from this area. This girl here, she's kidnapped from Utah. She's recently been spotted in a series of child porn videos that police uncovered in a sex trafficking sting. Oh, wow. I was wondering if you could take these flyers with you. Mm -hmm. Take them with you to the gym. Put a few in your car. Put them on your fridge in the break room at work. Please help me find them. Tina Front, and I'm Executive Director and Founder of Courtney's House, based in Washington, D.C., and a survivor of child sex trafficking at the age of nine to my mid to late 20s. With that being said, everything we do at Courtney's House is based off of my life, what was not provided for me, and what should have been. With that being said today, we watched a very true film, and inside this film had a very real subject that probably has your head spinning with many questions that are unanswered. How do I help? How do I determine if this is happening to my child? How would I know? Does this happen in the United States more? Does it happen in my area? And the answer to that is yes. Well, because we thought of it as a choice, we didn't realize that the average age of forced prostitution in the United States for girls is 11 and 14 years old, with over 200,000 US United States children being trafficked inside U.S. each year, and the number continues to grow. By watching this movie, now you have an insight of what to look for and what the signs are. A lot of times, you'll see a situation where there is an older man trying to manipulate a younger girl into thinking it's a relationship, or you do have survivors who are being trafficked, and that trafficker has them recruit other girls. That could be inside school, inside your youth group, or just within the neighborhood, but please know that that child is also being forced and they have to recruit. It can be family control, and now what does that mean? Well, in my situation, I was nine years old inside the foster care system. So it was my foster family with both boys and girls trading to us for sex. Well, that can happen with real parents as well. And so parents who are not on drugs may also traffic or sell their child for money. There'll be some numbers again. That number is the National Human Trafficking Hotline number. If you have a tip, if you think it's trafficking, if you don't wanna leave your name, please make the phone call. You can save a life without even knowing that you're saving a life. The other number is Courtney's House for Survivor by Survivor National Hotline. Now this hotline is answered by survivors of sex trafficking, survivors of sexual assault, and domestic violence 24 hours a day. So that's where survivors can call in and parents to say that they have a child, they believe their child's being trafficked, or just someone to talk to that went through it. These numbers not only help you determine and help you help other people, but it gives you a resource to understand 
that there is help right there. Thank you so much for being a pioneer of watching this movie and being an advocate now and having these tools so you can go back out and help save so many lives. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.